guys. We are crafting on a Tuesday. We're all thrown off here. We <laughs> usually aren't with you guys on Tuesdays. We Usually it's Monday night. We had a paint night last night. And then um, we typically do like a Wednesday and Friday. So we were all off here. Um, we're in a different studio today. We have a different background, but welcome everybody. Um, so we're going to be doing Mod Podge ornaments. And it's funny, I feel like it's kind of gone from Halloween to Christmas and holidays. So um, we're, what's that? I said just like that. It happened so quickly. You didn't even notice. I know. It's like there's still Thanksgiving, but um, we're really excited. We have all our um, holiday content coming out. I know that Michaels has a ton of beautiful projects and product and things on their website. So we're in the spirit here. And we're going to be doing Mod Podge ornaments. I'm going to be crafting. If you have questions, please, Emma is in the other um, room. And she can answer questions for you or comments. So I'll try to answer those in real time. Um, don't forget, if you are just watching along for inspiration, that you can always go back and watch this on Michael's Community Classroom page after the fact. They have created an amazing library of all these videos. So you can watch these on demand when you're ready to craft. Like I said, if you don't have your Mod Podge ready and you're just getting inspired, you can always watch these after. All this product is available on michaels.com and in the store, and they've got a lot of great options to have it delivered to you, curbside pickup. So you definitely want to get your Mod Podge and get crafting. Um, and it's really great because we're still in November, so you've got lots of time. Um, you know, people are doing virtual Zoom ornament parties, um, you know, you can make these and still ship them. They're really great gifts to give and personalize for um, all your friends and family. So um, we'll get started if anybody, you know, if nobody has questions and I'll just, um, I'll keep going. If you let, have a question, let me know and I'll pause and try to answer it. Yeah, let's get started. I'm excited to see what you do, Kira. Yeah, okay, so a couple different, and again, we've done so many different Mod Podge ornaments over the years, even this year. So I'm just showing you a couple, but there are, endless possibilities you can do with Mod Podge. So one I'm gonna show you is these are, and I hope it is showing up overhead here. I can't see yeah. overhead, but um, here we go. So this is an ornament. So this is actually a paper mache ornament. Started out, we base coated it white, which is folk art white paint. You could also use folk art home decor chalk paint would be is a really great option because it's really matte. Painted these. You could even start out with a white ornament or just an old ornament that you want to cover and you could paint it. And you can paint it any color. We just love the blue and the white. And what we did was using Mod Podge, then we got this crushed glass filler. And you can see this is Ashland and it's like in the floral, it's decorative filler for bowls and um, flowers. But it's actually like crushed glass and little pieces of mirrors. So it's already done and it's not sharp, you know, you want to be careful, but you can touch it and it's not going to, you know, stab you immediately. Um, but it comes in this awesome container and what you're going to do is I just have a paper bowl here and I'm going to fill up this paper bowl. You can see so beautiful and you could absolutely DIY this, um, but Michael makes it really easy and has it available for you. But you could do, um, you know, crushed pieces of old vintage um, plates and cups. So lots of different things you could do this way. That's a great idea. Yeah. There's and then so many different, like really pretty plates at the thrift store. That would be a great idea to crush them. Yeah. Yeah. But again, Michael's makes it easy. So um, I we base coated our ornaments. Then I'm just going to use, now you could use a number of different Mod Podge formulas that Michaels carries. So you could use gloss, um, which is really thick if you guys can see. Of course, this isn't open. So gloss and matte are thick, but I'm actually going to use Mod Podge Outdoor as a little trick for this because it is ultra thick. So you can see that's Mod Podge gloss coming out of the bottom. So it's thick, but still a little runny. And if you've used Mod Podge, you kind of know the consistency. It's like a thicker, you know, glue. Mm -hmm. But Mod Podge Outdoor is super duper thick. So it doesn't even run. So that's the, um, that is outdoor. And it makes it really great when you're covering or um, like you want to kind of embed and get really good coverage, especially on these round ornaments. So that's a little trick, you know, just change up the formula. Even though you're not going to put these outdoor, it's still a great formula to use. Mm -hmm. So I am just going to coat this all over. And again, Mod Podge dries clear no matter what formula. Um, so don't worry. So you want to really get a really good thick coat. And again, you can use gloss, but I really like the outdoor for this. 
That's a great tip to use outdoor cure as a more heavy duty Mod Podge. I would never have thought of that before. I would only really think that like outdoor is, of course, only used for outdoor purposes. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, you know, glue and sealer all in one. So you could absolutely use it for different, um, different uses for different projects. And that's what's so great about the Mod Podge brand is that they have so many different formulas. You know, we've got dishwasher safe, we've got Mod Podge Ultra. I'm going to show you sparkle here in a minute. So, so many different formulas and you can really use them for a number of different things. So I know this is white, so it's hard to see, but I've got a really good coat of the outdoor. I love the outdoor because it is so thick. It's like almost like mayonnaise on there. Um, and then what you want to do is just take your um, pieces of your mirror, your crushed up um, filler here, and we are just going to roll this around and you can see how it automatically sticks. So you can see that. So you're just going to keep coating it and rolling it. And so um, Glenise asked what kind of paint was used for the base of that ornament and we just used um, folk art acrylic paint. Yep. But again you could use I said even like a folk art home decor chalk is a really great to base coat with because it's got that really matte. You could either um, you could either and even I can't talk paint these with a glitter. So you could do like a uh, folk art glitterific or extreme glitter just to give it some extra shine even under the mirror and the glass. That's a great idea. Yeah, so you can see. So you can roll it around and then you can kind of scoop it up and just kind of fill in. But you see, it's going to stick. That's sticking absolutely immediately. So you just want to get good coverage all around. So fun. I feel like these like really tactile sort of crafts just remind me of Christmas. It reminds me of when I was a kid, like getting my hands dirty, making Christmas ornaments. Ah, they're so beautiful and they look so expensive um, just because of the shine. So again, that just stuck immediately. You're watching me do that. And then you just let that dry so you could hang it and let it dry. Beautiful. And you don't need to put another coat on it. So you could though, if you did want some extra protection, you know, we're using Mod Podge, so it's gonna glue and seal. What you could do, um, and this is a great tip also for the holidays. So Mod Podge Ultra, if you're not familiar with that, it is um, a newer product and it is a Mod Podge spray. So it's not an aerosol, it is a spray pump. And so this is a great sealer. So what I would do is, you know, you could, once this dries, you could just hit it just for some extra protection. Seal it all in and then you're done. This is also great for Christmas ornaments that have glitter. I actually just bought a Christmas ornament the other day and it is already glittered. It was a glitter elephant. And um, literally I haven't even put it on my tree and there is glitter all over the place. Like just from bringing it into the house, out of the, out of the bag, glitter. So what you could do is take ornaments that already have glitter on them that you've bought, use this Mod Podge Ultra or another Mod Podge formula, but the Ultra is great with glitter. And all you need to do is give it a good coat and let it dry. And it's going to keep that glitter from coming off all over everything in your house. So that's a really great tip. That's an this awesome. Mod Podge Ultra is going to seal any of your pretty bought ornaments. Kira, when you got a chance, would you mind showing off the label of that? Um, yeah. Yeah. But I do, I, you know, my husband was like glitter already. I'm like, yeah, you know, but the Mod Podge Ultra, I need to bring some home actually and spray it. Yes. So this is the Mod Podge Ultra and it comes in a matte and a gloss. So you can get a look, you know, if you're doing something with glitter, I would use the gloss because you're going to keep that shine. It's going to dry completely clear and it's just going to seal in that glitter so it doesn't get everywhere. And again, it's great for this ornament too. Just hit it and it's going to keep all those, you know, and those are really on there. So, you know, this is more of a blue shade and this is a white. So you could do all different tones also. It would be really pretty. Pretty. Kara, will you show us the vase filler um, label? Yeah. Yep. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Yep. So just, again, this is just beautiful little pieces of tiny mirror. But again, you could DIY this. This is just a great way to do it. Um, and again, little pieces of um, like porcelain or ceramic plates that you have or something chipped or broke. Little Christmas plates would be really pretty that you broke up, like in reds and greens. You could do the same technique with it. I love it. Okay, so that is one. I'm gonna, you know, gotta clean up here. This table's nice, it has a little shelf. There we go. <laughs> like I said, we're filming two things right now, so we're in our other studio today. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay. 
So another fun one to do is, um, and these are kind of very retro, very fun. And Mod Podge just has that kind of retro feeling. So I feel like we kind of lead into that. But we made these just using scrapbook paper and Mod Podge. So if you can see, we did a whole collection of these. And this is so great because you can really just personalize these like with any color you're decorating and they're easy and inexpensive to change out. So if you're like, I'm going to do all blues this year, or I'm going to do greens or reds or your kids want to get involved. These are a great craft to do. And they're super easy and, you know, a little bit of paper and Mod Podge goes a long way. So what you're going to do is we can, we've pre-done some and we've just used solid um, scrapbook paper and we've actually so this is all it is this is just like a card stock and then all we've done is we've used our Mod Podge so Mod Podge there's extreme glitter and sparkle so I'm going to show you both of these formulas but the glitter is already in the Mod Podge so again you don't have that issue with glitter getting everywhere you can literally just use the Mod Podge as the glue and the sealer and it has a sparkle so you can see we've done a variety of these papers and it doesn't have to be solid. Um, it's just what we chose, but you know, Michael's has so many great seasonal papers that you could add the Sparkle Mod Podge to and just Mod Podge right over it and then cut your strips and then create these little ornaments. So here's a beautiful teal color. And this is great too, if you just have some leftover paper, um, you know, and again, you can coordinate everything. You could even do, um, you know, it'd be really cute it would be doing old Christmas cards, like either vintage or ones from the year past, and you could Mod Podge them and cut them and make ornaments out of them would be really pretty. That's a great idea. Okay, so this is Sparkle. So Sparkle is the lowest amount of Sparkle if we're talking about Sparkle. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's not very technical. So sparkle is just a very subtle, and I hope you can see that as it dries, you'll be able to see it better because it's going to dry clear and you're just going to get really pretty iridescent um, glitter. So that is the sparkle. And then I'm going to go into the extreme glitter and extreme glitter is more glitter. <laughs> and you guys got to trust me on this. So this one is more glitter. The whole glitter spectrum we're dealing with. You, yes, it's how much we talk about glitter here is yeah. very funny. So you can already start to see, I'm gonna let this dry for a second, the difference in the two. Um, you could use Glitterific, but Glitterific, um, it's not as pliable. Um, it's not like, so the Mod Podge, once you put it on the paper, you could still um, move it around and bend it. The Mod Podge glitter is going to be, um, it's going to be more rigid once it dries. So that's why the Mod Podge is so great for this. And again, it dries, it seals the glitter right in. So it's not going to come off in your hands and get everywhere. Love so I'm going to dry this for a second. So you can see, hope you guys can see, that is the extreme, or sorry, that's the sparkle, less sparkle. Mm -hmm. And that is the extreme, more sparkle. So. You could do both, mix them. Love it. Um, so yeah, so here's some examples of the paper that we've done. Okay, so all we've done is we've let these dry. And again, a great craft for the whole family. This is great. You could totally mass produce these. Um, then all you do is, and you can mix your colors or you could do um, you know, solid colors like we did. And all you want to do is take your strips and all these pre cut strips here. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay them out. So let's see how many we have here. We've got one, two, three, four on here. So I'm just going to do a mix of colors. And then you just want to lay these down and you can go ahead and you can use your Mod Podge um, as a glue to start to attach them. And I'm just sticking my Mod Podge right on a popsicle stick here. I love how the Mod Podge doesn't crack. I mean, you're really folding these strips of paper and there's no cracks in the Mod Podge. Right, and so you can see I made a cross and now I am going to go diagonal. And again, very basic, but just such a great idea that's so impactful when it's done. Mm -hmm. And I kind of mm -hmm. like how that one is multicolored. It's yeah. Absolutely. So fun. So Kara, how long would you let this dry after you've applied the Mod Podge? You know, the, the Mod Podge dries pretty quick. I mean, 
minutes. You could hit it with a hair dryer even if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, and the great thing about Mod Podge is you can move it around also a little bit while you wait for it to dry. And then all you want to do is you're going to bring up and you're going to do the same thing is you're going to use your Mod Podge. And again, I'm using the outdoor because it's a little bit thicker, just especially, um, you know, on camera, it's a little bit easier. And this is nothing hard. It's just such a great idea. And I think it's just, you know, kind of a process right now, especially with the holidays. Like what can you do that's um, a fun, safe experience? And uh, you know, you're creating memories, personalizing. I just, I love that. I think it's a really great kid. Especially more this time of year. Yeah. I feel like this is a really great kids craft too. I mean, it is, it's good for everybody. You know, let the kids do what they want, but then you can make yours like really pretty and match. Mm -hmm. And that's all you would do. So you would just let it dry and I'm in a hurry here, but you would just absolutely just let that dry. So you're gonna get your ball. Okay, let that dry. And you could use a little um, like a paper clip or a little binder clip to hold those while they dry. That's a great tip also. Great idea. And then this is what you're going to get. And we did that same process. Of course, it looks because this one's dry and we took the time. And then all we did is you can use a little staple or a little piece of wire and add your tie. So we did some twine. You could do some baker's, um, you know, baker's string is really pretty at the holidays, any kind of ribbon. But again, you could just do just such a great set of these. You could attach them to a wreath. So you could do them like all the way around a wreath. On garland would be really pretty, like over your balcony or your mantle. So great idea. And the sparkle, it's just such a beautiful shimmer. So especially when you have all the twinkle lights on, it just really catches, you know, that little glimmer of light. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Yeah, okay. Any questions, Emma? Because I'll keep uh, I'll keep going. I don't think so. Everyone's really enjoying watching you craft. Well, good. Thanks, guys. Like I said, it's weird being here on a Tuesday. I know. We were here late last night. Okay, I'm gonna move these. Okay. So another favorite product we have is photo transfer, and if you haven't used this, it is it's like magic. So these are, if you can see, these are just those, like we call them wood cookies, but these are the wood, um, just like unfinished wood discs. And these are actually photos that we have transferred onto the wood. So you can see, you can personalize it with your family, with your pets, you know, you could print something, um, an image that you love, a saying, and you can transfer these right onto the wood. And then all we did was coat these with Mod Podge gloss to seal them, which you don't need to do. I just like the shine on them. So all you need to do, and you don't, and here's our photo transfer that we're gonna be using. So the one thing is you don't wanna use, and I'm gonna open this guy, you do not wanna use your original photo. You wanna have a laser print photo. That is important for this product to work. So that is the one thing that you need. So you don't wanna just take a picture. Now you could just take a picture and um, Mod Podge it on, but this just has such a different, unique look. It looks like it actually becomes part of the surface. So we, did, we just took a family photo and we made sure it was the size of our surface. So again, you can do this on a number of surfaces. It works great on wood. Um, and we just want to cut this out, which I don't have a pair of scissors. So no problem. So all you're going to do, we're, we're getting a pair of scissors. Kara, while you're waiting, would you mind showing off the um, photo transfer label? Yeah. So it's Mod Podge Photo Transfer. So it's Mod Podge Photo Transfer. And so another great tip is if you are doing words or a saying, and all these directions are on the packaging, so you definitely want to check that out. You want to reverse your image in case it's a word or a saying because it's like it's going to mirror it and it's going to be backwards. And I'll show you what I mean. So all you want to do is cut this out to be the size of your surface. And I would trace this, but I'm crafting in a hurry. So don't do what I do, do what I say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So laser print of your photo or your saying or whatever image you want to use. If you're worried, if you want 
you know, there's words or something needs to be a certain direction, because you're going to take this image and put it down, it's going to, you want to reverse it. Does that make sense? So whatever you have, it's going to reverse. So you want to make sure that you're mirroring it. So when you put it down on your surface and you rub that off, it's going to come out. So if it says Merry Christmas, it's going to say Merry Christmas. So that's an important tip. And again, all these instructions are on um, michaels.com and on the product. So you just want to trim this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Mod Podge photo transfer. Um, can you get me a cup of water? I have paper please in here. Here. My bottles are open today. I've made the mistake of using a Mod Podge photo transfer with just a regular inkjet printer and not laser print before. Right, laser print is super important. And where can you get like those laser print copies, Kira? Um, you know, if you have like a, a FedEx or a place that does printing, you can absolutely get them there. Okay. Okay. All right. So I am just going to apply this right to my surface. So I'm just using these great, um, like we call them wood cookies, but they're unfinished wood. You could do these on coasters. These just make a great gift, especially, you know, not seeing your loved ones. This is just a great personalized gift that you can make. Cool. Great for weddings, for showers. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that down. You want to do a really good coat. Then you're going to take your image face down. So you want to make sure that you put it face down on your surface and you want to smooth it out, make sure there's no bubbles. And then here's the hard part. You got to let that sit overnight. So it has got to completely dry. So you want to set that aside and do not touch it. Then what you're going to do, this is what you're going to have. So you're going to have your piece of paper and it's going to be stuck to your surface. Then you're going to take you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers, you can use paper towel, and you're just going to take water, just plain water, and you're going to start rubbing. You can even use a spray bottle, but you can see when you get this wet, you can see the image to start to come through. Can you guys see that? Yes. It's like okay. magic. Yep, so get that wet. And what you're going to do is you're just going to start rubbing away that paper and you can see that you're gonna reveal the image. So again, if you wanna use a little sponge, and it doesn't take a lot of pressure. Um, I always just use my finger, but you can absolutely use a little sponge or a paper towel. And you just wanna keep rubbing. And Carrie, would you mind talking a little bit more about the uh, laser, I'm sorry, the, um, the Mod Podge image transfer? Someone just asked, can I use regular Mod Podge to do this? Um, so nope, you, the Mod Podge image transfer is a special formula that allows the image to transfer and that you can wipe away that backing of the paper. Mm -hmm. You can Mod Podge a photo right onto a surface, absolutely. But the image transfer actually transfers the image onto the surface. Okay. And Maddie had a great question. Is it possible to overwet it? Um, yeah, you know what? That's a great question, and I kind of did right there. So you want to be careful, and less is more, and work in like small sections. I just really wanted to show you guys what you do. So if I was doing this, I would just wet, and I would just keep working it and rub it in small little sections. And the thing with photo transfer is that when you're rubbing it really lightly like that, you kind of have to give it a break after a little bit because then it'll dry again, and you'll see the white part of the paper, and then you just have to come back, you know, for you know every hour or so, just about two or three times. Yep. So yeah, and then like I said, you just keep rubbing. And like Emma said, that's a great tip. Let it dry, set it aside for a little bit and come back and there'll be like a little bit of a film. And again, I'm just taking my finger and a little bit of water and you'll see it and it'll just become more clear and clear. And you don't need to rub hard. And then what you can do, so again, if you love that matte, like I like that worn matte look, especially when a little bit of the wood shows through so you can see. But if you want the shine, all you need to do is use a Mod Podge gloss mm -hmm. and you could spray it and seal it and then it's got this beautiful shine. And then again, all we did was add a bow and some twine and then you have ornaments. And again, great coasters. Use the Mod Podge Ultra or Dishwasher Safe. That makes a great coaster. So you would just take it and once it's completely dry, spray with your Mod Podge Ultra to protect it. 
and then you could use it as a coaster. It'll be totally functional. And so just to clarify for everyone, right now we're using Mod Podge Image Transfer. Uh, Mod Podge and Michaels uh, carries another product called Mod Podge Photo Transfer. And the difference between those two, we love to use um, image transfer on wood and other um, porous materials. And Mod Podge Photo Transfer is really awesome for fabric. Some people yeah. had a question in the comments, can you use this on fabric? You yes, can thank you. I recommend to use photo transfer on fabric. Yep. So two different formulas, just like we have different formulas of other Mod Podge and paint, there's one that is great for hard surface and, you know, decorative, and then there's definitely one that is great for fabric. But you could absolutely, you know, we've done some beautiful pillows here for the holidays where you can transfer an image right onto a throw pillow. Awesome. So Kira, Marvin has a question. Um, what size width were the little paper strips that you made for the last ornament? Oh gosh, these are about an inch. Yeah. I can I have a ruler literally right here. I can it right now. These are, uh, they're about three quarters of an inch. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I love that I have a ruler right there. That never know. happens. <laughs> oh, look, there's one here too. They left me one. <laughs> That's so probably why. Huh. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that pink <laughs> ruler. That's right there. No scissors, I had a ruler. Okay, no. All right, so any more questions on the photo transfer? I don't think so. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more that you can pour and we love pouring. So another great idea. And we're gonna pour with Mod Podge Ultra. So these were made and these great shapes, Michaels actually has these, they are raw wood. Um, they're art lines, they're really inexpensive. They've got a ton of great shapes. And what we did is we used the Mod Podge Ultra with our folk art paint and our treasure gold, and we actually poured right onto the ornaments. So this is really fun. And again, you could do a whole bunch of these at once. You could pour them, let them dry, and then you could go in and personalize them. You could, you know, write someone's name, the date, um, lots of fun things you can do with these. These are also great, just not for ornaments, but they are great for gifts. So, you know, tie them on your gift bag or on your packaging, just do some like very basic wrapping and add these. So it's like a gift and it's the name tag for your present. So great. Okay, so I have a pan over here. Sorry, giant pan. Okay, so what we're gonna do is these are ornaments. And again, these were just wood. We painted these black, um, but you could use them completely raw. And what we're gonna do is, what I would do is I would raise these off. I would use our trick of using our thumbtacks and I would raise these off of your pan. And then I'm gonna mix our Mod Podge Ultra. So I'm actually gonna move that, sorry guys. So Mod Podge Ultra, you can use it as a pouring medium. So very similar to what we do with our folk art pouring medium that we've done for you guys before. So you can use Mod Podge matte or gloss, either work, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I just have a really pretty Christmas green here, and I'm going to pour it in my cup. I've got a red. And then I have treasure gold because it's our favorite. Oh, this is a brand new bottle. This is um, very fancy today. All this new stuff I get to open up and use. Woohoo! <laughs> so some people have some more questions about um, image transfer yeah. and photo transfer. So just to clarify, um, image transfer does have a transparent finish. So um, you won't be able to um, like if you were to put it on wood, you would be able to see the wood through it, as opposed to photo transfer. If you're putting it on fabric, um, you won't be able to see the um, fabric behind it. Yeah, that's a great call. I love that people are loving the photo transfer because seriously, you guys, it makes the best gifts and it is so easy. And it's like actually really relaxing and like satisfying to kind of like reveal your image. So you can see this has been setting aside for a couple minutes and all you need to do, you could also use a sea sponge um, to help get the paper off. But just take your finger and again, just rub off until you get all that paper off. So you can see. So awesome. Yeah. And that'll just dry and come right off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna use Mod Podge Ultra. I'm just gonna unscrew the top. And I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio. 
And now it's a little bit runnier than our folk art pouring medium. So sometimes you need a little bit less. But again, you want it to be kind of that thick um, stir consistency. And then you just want to stir it. It's going to dry clear. So you want to give it a really good stir. So Kira, someone wants to know, are there or will there be downloadable instructions for these crafts? Um, you can watch the video on demand on Michael's library. Awesome. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, so if you're not able to craft along, just Michael's, it usually takes about 24 hours um, and they'll have the um, project up online for you and you can go back and watch when you're ready to craft. Some more paint in here. It's a little runny. Like I said, the Mod Podge Ultra is runnier than the, the pouring medium. So you maybe want to do like a one to a half ratio of the pouring medium because it's a little bit runny. And then I'm just mixing with a popsicle stick. And again, it's not going to change the look of the treasure gold. You can see that we poured this and it's still really shiny. I love that. It's like, it's surprising how shiny it remains after mixing. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't that is a great consistency. Yeah. You guys can see that treasure gold. So my paint got a little bit runny. So I'm gonna try to get some more out of this bottle here. And that's what's great too is you can just kind of play with it and see if you need to add more or less. And more runny over there. So Kira, Ronnie wants to know if it does get too runny, um, can you add some regular Mod Podge to your pouring mixture? Um, nope, I would just add more paint. So regular Mod Podge is, has a different formula than Ultra, so it is important to use the Ultra and not just regular Mod Podge. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so I've got my ornaments here. Oh, they're getting me more red paint. I made it so runny, you guys. So here, this is this is a great lesson. Too runny, you can see. And you can just feel it. Once you've poured a couple times, you'll kind of just get kind of a feeling for it. If you let it sit for a minute, it's going to thicken up a little bit too. Okay, so I have my ornaments and actually um, we have the thumbtacks in them now. So tacks are really great. So I'm just using a disposable baking pan and then I'm using tacks to keep it off of my surface when I pour so you can get all that great runoff. And then all you want to do, and you could even do this, you could pour them individually or you could pour them together as a group, which is kind of fun. So all you would do is you would take your gold and you would just pour. And Kira, someone has another great question. They wanna know, does this finish differently than paint pour? Can this be used for outdoor ornaments? Um, you can use this for outdoor, but again, what I would do is I would just hit it once they dry, just for extra protection, especially in you know, the winter weather. I would hit it with a Mod Podge Ultra or because that is indoor outdoor or the Mod Podge outdoor formula. So it's just gonna give it some extra protection and keep it from fading. Awesome. Because you are mixing it with the paint, I would do that. It's already looking so pretty cute. I know, I was like, you don't really need to do a lot of work for these guys. Okay, and then all you would do is you would do your paint pour is let's swirl these little guys. They kind of look like Christmas cookies. So cute. Yep. So you would just let that run. And again, once they're dry, you could uh, personalize these. You could write the year on them. You could write someone's name, initials, Merry Christmas, to and from. Again, these make um, a great tag for any of your presents and gifts. Absolutely. Oh, that's a great idea. 
I hope you guys can see it. Mine even is around and up there little. So Marvin wants to know, how would you write on them? It might be a cute idea to um, stencil on top of some of these ornaments. Absolutely, stenciling is a great idea. You could even use a paint marker, um, but you could absolutely stencil right on top of this once it's dry. Add a little bit more gold in here. So again, you could just go back and add, and you can see how much, you know, you don't need a lot of paint, especially for these. So you could absolutely line this pan with a ton of different ornaments and just pour them and just go to town on them. All right, so that's pouring with Mod Podge Ultra for Christmas. And then what you could do is you could use the leftover in the pan and you could do your paint skins. And so, you know, you could cut different little shapes out of that and, you know, glue them onto, Mod Podge them directly onto um, a canvas or whatever craft you want to do. Any more questions? So, um, Soap wants to know if you painted both sides of that ornament. Um, we did not, but you absolutely could. So what you could do is you could paint it. So you could pick the red or the green or the treasure gold and paint the back side of it. Um, so it's not just one sided or you could pour these, let them dry. And then all you would need to do is go back over. You guys were terrible. We left all the price tags on these. <laughs> Um, all you would need to do is remove the price tag and then you could pour on the back so you would have a double-sided ornament. Awesome. So and once these are dry, you could just pour right over the backs. And so it's gonna look like a completed ornament. And then you could just attach a little hook to them. Awesome. Another question, Kira, someone wants to know um, if they need to spray something on top of their um, image transferred wood poster. To so what? They wanna know if they need to finish um, their image transfer wood coaster. Or nope, you do not need to. If it's just going to be for decorative purposes and you like um, the look, you can absolutely leave it. Just for extra protection, you could hit it with Mod Podge Ultra or one of your favorite Mod Podge formulas. If you're going to use it as a coaster or something like that, I would absolutely use Dishwasher Safe or Mod Podge Ultra. And Mod Podge Ultra is great because it's going to self-level. Um, you're not going to have to worry about brush strokes. All you're going to do is um, you know, give it a good shake and you're going to spray it and it's going to seal it and protect it. And you can actually, it's a functioning coaster or whatever you're creating. Um, this is indoor outdoor also. So you could even use the sparkle mod Podge. So what you could do is, you know, if you just wanted to add a little bit of shine. So for example, we have this little cutie here on the um, wood coaster. All you would need to do is you could take your extreme glitter mod Podge. And because it dries clear, you could just put a coat of glitter right on top of that. That'd be really pretty. So it's going to protect it and it's just going to get a little shine. And again, when they're hanging, especially from the tree, just to get that little bit of sparkle, they always look so nice. You are going to get a little bit of brush strokes with this though. So using the Mod Podge Ultra, you're going to make sure you get no brush strokes when you use that. But yeah, this is still going to dry clear and just going to give it a little bit of shine. So that's a great option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, Ellen wants to know, what was the purpose of painting black underneath our pour? And I just let her know that we were trying to repurpose um, surface <laughs> that we had already crafted on. We're being cheap. Um, yeah, we just had ornaments that we had already painted on that we've gotten at Michael's. And um, we're just always trying to use what we have here. So we just painted them black. That's, yeah. you caught us. <laughs> but you totally don't need to paint under it. Um, folk art paint and Mod Podge Ultra are thick enough to totally cover your wood surface. Absolutely, yes. So yeah, you can see these ones that we left the price tags on. These are just wood, um, but you could absolutely base coat them or not. Love it. Jenny wants to know um, what type of hook can you use to hang it? But I really think it's up to you, right? Like an, an uh, eye hook or? Yeah, so you could drill these because um, these do not have um, holes in them. So you could do a drill and do a like a loop or a hook or you could hot glue right to the back, some kind of string or twine. Awesome. Same with any of these too. You know, these um, these are these wood slices are really easy to drill, or you could just glue your hook right onto them or your hanger right onto them. All right. Well, does anybody have any more questions? 
I don't think so. I think we covered them all, Kira. Everyone really enjoyed watching you uh, make all those ornaments today. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I got to share some ideas, and I hope you guys are going to try them out this weekend. So, all right. Well, thanks for having us, everybody. Hope you're starting to craft for the holiday season, and this inspired you. Remember, you can get all this product at Michael's online or in their store, and you can watch this video on demand after if you want to craft along. I know a lot of people had questions about the Mod Podge photo transfer, so you definitely want to check that out. Um, so we hope we inspired you guys to try that. So we will be back. Um, Jesse will be here on Friday teaching a fall banner. So um, we'll sneak in some fall still so we don't forget about it. But um, thank you guys so much. Um, have a great rest of the week. Thanks, everybody.